Hello YouTube. It's been a while since I've done an, uh, basically an unboxing video or uh, or a pickup video. More accurately, it's a pickup video. Um, I haven't been shopping too much lately, but today I, I had to. I, I came across a couple of good, really, really good deals that I, I could not pass up. I just, I, it didn't matter how much money I had. I had to buy it. I had to buy it. So, um, first one, it's not this, but I just want to show you a comparison. This is my original Game Boy Color that I bought in 1998. Let's see if I can get this. Yeah, I can get it a little closer. Okay, and it's in great condition, as you can tell. Um, I refer to this um, on Kicking It Retro, uh, fellow gamer collector that um, I subscribe to that rock on. <laughs> um, I, almost, I think I flipped them off. <laughs> Sorry about that, brother. Um, but I just wanted you to uh, get a gist of what this is actually all about. You see the screen size and all that. Okay, so what I did pick up like I said, this is great, and I, I love it, but um, this is a Game Boy Pocket Clear Japan release, and it is fantastic. It works great. Um, there is one problem with it. There is, just like, okay, let me, I'm sorry, I dropped that. Uh, that's all right. Um, I'll turn this on. You see the red light right there on the Game Boy Color? There's supposed to be red light like this, like that, on the Game Boy Pocket. But, when I turn it on, and the on switch is on top, it doesn't come on. But, I wasn't worried about that as much as the speaker. And like, just like, my boy at Kicking It Retro said that the speakers go out more than everything else. The speaker, awesome, it sounds great. Um, it was selling for 25 I got it for 20 down 20 um, Now, I've seen it online for about 20 bucks, but I've wanted this for so long. It's not a common commodity. Um, so, yeah. Oh, I got the contrast way. So here's the contrast. Let's see if you can get that. It's got Metroid in it right now. Let's see? Not even color, but you know what? For 20 bucks, I'm not gonna bitch. I'm not gonna bitch at all. Very cool. Love it. All right, let's put those off to the side. Over here. Another thing I got, um, if you guys noticed that um, I've been doing uh, a couple of PS4 videos um, every once in a while, and I've been wanting this for a while, and it's, it's got some stickers on it, so but Uncharted 4 A Thief's End, not complete in box, does not have the manual, but that's okay. Um, got the game disc. And the game disc, if I can get it out here. Come on. There we go. The game disc looks a little dirty, but got some fingerprints on it. What's a whole lot better at 60 bucks and it looks clear to me. So that's another good pickup. Um the one at 15 I got it for 10. $10. This thing only came out in 2015. So I clean the stickers up off that and that would be good to go. Put that to the side. But the best thing that I bought today. The best thing I bought today 
And I've wanted this for a long time. And I used to have one back when it was new. It was a Sega Genesis Model 1. Sega Genesis Model 1. Now, I'm going to clean this up. I'm going to do that in a separate video. But, oh my god. I got a Model 2. And plus I got Directron 5 and stuff. But And I could play Sega Genesis games all day everywhere. But, uh... I've been wanting one of these for a long time. This is this is the thing. This is the original. It's got, um, of course, the RF out and the AV out S SV, um, the adapter, and it's got the stereo output for the headphones, which a lot of people hook up to the stereo. Oh my God. I can't wait to break this open and clean it up and get it all right. And I did look for the Sega CD attachment, which this is what you want to look for. Well, this is a good sign. It's got the red cover here. That means nobody fucked with it. I'm going to take it off. And it looks pristine. Got a little dust there, but it looks pristine. But that means nobody fucked with it, and I, if I want to, I could hook up a Sega CD next to it. And it's, it's, that connection should not give me a problem. So let me put this back on. Boom, 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 boom. Wow, what a treasure. And I got this for 20 bucks. I'm not sure if I mentioned it already. I think they wanted 34, but I got it for 20. Yeah, they wanted 34. Yeah, I gotta clean this up a little bit. I gotta give it some love. But, God, I love this. I love this system. I wanted this for so long. Like I said, I used to have one. Oh my God, this is so good. There we go. That's, you know, I, yeah. What say? What does it say here? Oh, da, 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 da. This is a serial number, made in Japan. All the bottom documentation is intact. Uh, I'm not sure how you tell how old this is, but you know it's an original. All right. I'm gonna have to break out my. Uh, my tools here. Well, the rubber feet are intact, which is nice. Okay. I'm thinking there's a screw right here. I'm not sure if this has ever been opened. Because I think there's a screw here that you have to get to to open. I don't think this has ever been open. Wow. This is going to have a lot of turret. <laughs> so, there goes my camera. Focus. Um, so I'm definitely going to have to, uh, clean the shit out of this. This has definitely never been open, I don't think. All right, thanks for watching YouTube. Um, I'm going to do a, uh, a restore video on this. This is, yeah, this is sticky, so I'm going to have to clean this up real quick. So, not real quick, but take my time and clean it. But, um, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks. Hello YouTube, told you about this puppy last video, I'm going to clean this sucker up. So, got my isopropyl alcohol, got my toothbrush, I do need to get some Q-tips. So give me a break real quick. I just grab a shitload of toothpicks out of the bathroom. Thanks for bearing with me for a second. I meant to be more prepared than that. I apologize. Um, 
Like I said in a previous video, I don't think this was open before because it feels like there's a screw under here. I think that I will be the first to open this. Okay. I'm gonna get my flat head here. I want that in an off position, so let's go ahead and Man, that doesn't want to come off. I, I know I need to get it off, but... Wow, that does not want to come off. Somebody got some sticky stuff in here, I'm sure. Hmm. I'm not getting that fucker off. Try my smaller one. I mean, that might be better. That does not want to come off. All right, let me get a towel here. Like this. Yeah, that's dirty. Okay. First, the reason I got a towel here is because I know it's scratched up in the front a little bit, but I really don't want to scratch it up any more than I have to. Let's see if I can get my. No, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to have to do a manual screwdriver. And that feels like it might have come out before. So maybe I don't need to have that other one done. Yeah. I don't see any tie-in, so I think this has been open. Now I had done this before with my uh, my Sega Genesis model too. Cleaned up real nice. Uh, that's more sleeker system, but like I said, I want the original, and I got the original. So, come on, come on up. There we go. Here. 
bet you that I do need to get that. Even though it appears that these have been open. I think possibly, and this has happened before I've seen, where people get so far as to open something and to retain everything, they stop short of that. So they won't open it all the way. That is contemplated and don't actually follow through. We're gonna soon see if that's needed to be out or not. Cause I think I've got everything except for that supposed screw. plastic so I don't want to squeeze too hard. I just want to squeeze hard enough to where it comes up. Come on. It is coming but plan. That just came out of the socket. So it didn't come up. <laughs> I did go back in the place. Maybe This is just for the light, mind you. This is ridiculous.
Moon brother. Okay. Try this again. Come on. You're almost free. Man, they put this on the last, didn't they? Oh my god, really? Oh my god, what a piece of fucking crap to do that. Why did they do that? I'm gonna bring this all the way down again. Evidently, I cut myself on something. What a pain in the ass! Nintendo was not this hard. <laughs> Talking about that original NES. I don't know what I can do about that. Yeah, I'm sucking my blood up. So I don't spill on everything. My boy, don't matter. I was trying to put this back in place since there is no way to get it unless I desolder everything. And I don't shouldn't have to desolder everything when it looks like it's a plug. Okay, I have no idea. The only thing I can think of is like that. You see what I'm talking about? You think you can be able to separate the top from the bottom. It's just a light. But they don't want you to do that. This is kind of dirty. The caps I see, they look okay. Alright. So now this is a plug that I'm talking about. This is... A plug to the power. I bet you it comes up a lot easier than that shit. Let's check it out. 
It's right off the PCB. And here comes the power right out of it. On the back. It's not even mounted, it's just through a screw hole. Maybe. You know, I don't even need to take that off, so I'll just leave that there. Let's turn this out of the way. Get the RF shield off. And go from there. I bet I didn't pick up that light, but if I did, yeah. I got a light on a Game Boy Pocket that needs to be replaced too. So, yeah, it's the same size. I just want to clean this bitch. Got all the dust and dust mites and shit out of here. Okay, the silver ones are in back. And they the same size. Get that one off. Yeah. I don't know if they are the same size. Let me see. Whatever to get it because it's magnetized. Yeah. So, as a result, me opening this, I'm sure that this has been opened. Um, because it's clear that I thought it would be, if it was original, it would be a lot dirtier. It is dirty, but it's not that dirty. Remember that the screw doesn't want to come out. Yeah. No, and it's not that, not as tall as the others. But it's silver, so it's distinguishable. want to get what's under this RF shield so there we go so I can clean under it that screw is not the best it's a little bit strippage Another sign that I think that this has been open. Be a lot longer video than the last video I had. I think I'd get at it. There we go. Right there. A couple more up there. The thing RF shields, I'm telling you. I understand why they're there. And you're a pain in the ass to get around sometimes with so many freaking screws. Huh. There we go. Ooh, that one came out without me using the needle nose. That's nice. Okay. Let's get this one off. Huh. This is definitely a different world than a Sega Genesis Model 2. <laughs> okay. 
Okay, I think this is the last one. Yeah, I think this is definitely gonna open before. And in turn, since it's oh no no, it's got to cut out, so I might not be able to do. I might be able to just move the RF shield without screwing with those cords. Let's see if I got it. Here. Oh, I got another one here. Bigger screwdriver. I think this is a conductive. Looks that way. Kind of dirty. So I'll put that upside down. Oh, there's another screw right there. You mess those screws sometimes. This, they have so many. Yeah. That's one for black one. Get on over there. Sometimes these screws they stick in the plastic and they just don't want to come up unless you get you know those. And that's a black one and that's a long one and it's a different one. So I'm gonna keep that separate from the rest of the screws. Do I have any other? go online. Well, what's going on here? Looks like this is point that it needs to come apart. Look at that. That volume is dirty as fuck. Bringing up the PCB too. Why is it doing it?
I'm just trying to clean my Genesis people. Why is it so hard? I might need to do a little walkthrough that somebody else did. So I'm going to end it there for now. I may continue on. I may not. I don't know. Um, this is certainly freaking dirty. Not as dirty as it would be if it's original, but uh, yeah, like, like I said, I was expecting to be way dirtier, which it would have been if it was original. To know nobody opened it. But I gotta figure out how to open the rest of this without damaging it. So, thanks for watching, YouTube. Okay, what I found out is why I couldn't get this off. There's a couple reasons. There is a metal plate in the back. Let me get this out of the way. It sits right here. That doesn't allow you to remove the RF shield. So you gotta remove that. Other thing is Right here, you see how bent this up is right here? I had to do that. I had to do it. Um, there is a, a screw that normally is glued here for, I'm guessing, warranty reasons um, for Sega when they had us. Unfortunately, they were really, really, really uh, generous with the globe. So it not only went around the screw for the RF plate, but it went down here too. I had to clean a lot of that off. You see some stuff here, but it was all coated with this blue glue. So I had to bend it up and take my flathead and pry it loose. Yeah, that was bad. Um, I watched a video in between the time I did this video and the last video. Um, I may segment it, I might just put them on its own, but the last video before this one, or the last part before this one, um, where he said to go ahead and after you get all the screws out, gently pull it out that way, which makes sense because it's got um, a lip here where it closes on and it's got a little sink here, so that makes sense, but it didn't work that well for me because unlike him, I had a ton of glue underneath here. As you can tell, look at this. I didn't clean the RF shield up on the bottom side. There's a bunch of blue. Let's see if you can see that. Blue glue that just seeped through and made it just impossible to remove. Um, so I had to do it that way. Now I'm going to try to put it back together. <laughs> All right, so I put my cigarette right out here. Um, let's see if I can do this okay. Um, I did clean off the uh, microchips a little bit around the caps and stuff like that. This looks like it's a, a, a newer uh, chip here. So I'm thinking this chip might have been replaced. It's okay. Um, if the chip needed to be replaced, it needed to be replaced. So. I'd rather have it working than not. So, um, let's try to put this back together. <sighs> Get my towel back up here. So I gotta get this bent up piece of crap RF shield back. Gotta go Let's see. Yeah, I think it goes this way. Yeah. Goes that way. I just gotta get it all seated before I do anything else. Yeah. Of shit, but that's okay, it's gonna be covered up. I don't care, as long as it works. Let's 
get this back, back over. There's a little tab here on this side. I'll show it to you in a second. It's supposed to be bent over like that. There's a tab right there. All right, let's see how we're doing otherwise. Okay, that looks okay. Let's put our little uh, metal gate back down here. All right. Now, now this goes up here. See, even the even the uh, the flat or the um, the Phillips part of it, it's filled with that blue sealer which I had to actually sink into this to get it to turn okay get that back down there I'm not sure where this goes I might have to watch the previous video to find out uh, You know that these are the silver screws, they're in the back and the front. Silver screws go here. So it would be a process of elimination for that long screw. I wish I remember where I put that. Well, I'll tell you what, if it's a long screw, it's not going to go in if it's wrong size. So, chances are I'll find out where it actually goes. Without having reviewed the tape. This one. Oh, as you notice too, that I, I found a way to get this from the top, and this uh, plug from the top. It was invaluable. He showed me how to do that on a video. So, he also said don't use a magnetized screwdriver, but I have, and he said it's like bad for electronics, and I said, I've used magnetized screwdrivers for electronics for all my life. It's never been a problem. Never ever. So I think he's full of bullshit there. <laughs>
There you go over here, let's see. Hmm. Is there gonna work? Well, maybe it goes in here. Who knows? So now, I was lucky, I think I picked the right one because if it's a long, a too long screw, it's gonna bottom out before the head hits the plane of the surface it's supposed to go to. Bottomed out right when it needed to. So. This is an actual like integral circuitry here. This is just an RF shield. We got the RF shield on. It's just supposed to shield the system from, and that goes fine. Shield the system from um, radio frequencies so it doesn't screw with the set. I don't think that actually had screw in this one but it's got a hole there so I'm gonna try it. I know I'm supposed to have six. Two, three, four. Well, that's it. Six for the bottom. Yeah. Alright. That's the way she goes on that. Oh. Yeah, I wish I wouldn't uh, um by the way me lifting up on the uh, Lever here wasn't a great idea. Um, I was thinking, like most electronics, that the the switch would uh, come off. WD on my car, I might need for that. I don't know. Keeps getting stuck. I think this needs to be clean. Well, I'm gonna break this off right now and get my WD. Okay, we're back to the last installment of the Sega Genesis rejuvenation, if you will. Um, let, us, let me show you. Here's my CRT. I do have HDMI, but the old school Genesis calls for old school CRT got gargoyles in right now. Let 
And there you go. Let's turn this back light off so you can see it better. the Genesis 901 right there see okay, let's try a different game for a second let's get it back a perspective here Super Nintendo, you hit a, a switch, you hit and knock the cartridge out. This one, you just pull. And it just boots up right away. Thanks for bearing with me. I am very happy. 20 bucks, you can't beat that shit. Thanks for watching, YouTube.